Yeah, hi, welcome everybody. So this is a quick video explaining the recent announcement of support for Azure AD based join. Uh, so this is for Windows Server 2019 um, virtual machines in Azure. Um, so we now have the ability to use our Azure AD credentials to log into a, a Windows Server 2019 VM. Um, previously, this had only been available for Linux based VMs and Windows 10 uh, running in Azure. So Big news is that Microsoft is also looking into supporting this for non-Azure VM uh, soon, sometime this year. Uh, so let's take a quick look how to do this. So first of all, we need to make sure that we've got the correct um, Azure AD licensing in place. So as you can see, we can use either premium P1 or P2 licensing. So this gives us the ability uh, of Azure AD join. Um, so that's ticked under either P1 or P2 licensing. So if we take a look under Azure Active Directory within the portal, um, if we go to um, the licensing part and we can see we've now got a user which is licensed um, for P2. So if we add that in. So currently Azure AD does not give any NTLM or LDAP support for applications um, that still require LDAP or Active Directory. Um, so in order to get this capability to work, um, you'd need to have a Windows Server 2019 uh, Data Center Edition VM or Windows 10. So we're going to see where the options are. We're just going to select the defaults. Obviously, you need to choose these uh, options for your requirements, you know, kind of storage. Uh, you know, you wouldn't be recommended to open up, you know, RDP port 3389 to the Internet. Um, OK, so if we go to create a virtual machine, we select our resource group, server name, in this case server one. If we select the region, in this case UK South. Uh, if we select our image, we, we want to choose 2019 data center. So if we type in our local username and password. So as I say, if we select the defaults here, just for this test purposes, And then on the management page, the next page along, we can see that we have this um, identity section and Azure AD section. So if we choose identity on, and then if we choose log on with AD credentials, so that actually installs the custom extension to actually log on um, using uh, Azure AD. And if we select defaults and then if we create the VM. The deployment is now underway. So our VM is now being created successfully. So if we take a look at um, the default directory under devices, uh, we can now see that this server has been joined to the Azure Active Directory um, under devices. So it's an Azure AD joined server. So to allow a, a user to log into the VM over RDP, you must assign either the virtual machine administrator logon or virtual machine user logon role. Uh, so an Azure user with uh, the owner or contributor roles assigned for a VM do not automatically have privileges uh, to log into the VM over RDP. So we'll go over this quickly within the portal. So if we click the server, and then go to Access Control I am. Uh, click Role Assignments. As we can see, our Cloud Admin account has the Virtual Administrator Logon uh, role assigned and also the Virtual Machine User Logon role assigned. So that's the end of the video. Please subscribe to my channel using the subscribe image in the bottom right-hand corner of this video. Thanks for watching. See you all soon.